Hey kids, welcome back. We've been spending the last few weeks talking about different names for God. We've learned that Emmanuel means God with us, that Jehovah Rohi means the Lord is our shepherd, and last week we talked about God being our strong creator, Elohim. This week, we're going to talk about God as light. In Psalm 27.1, we read, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? When we read about Moses in Exodus helping God's people to escape from Egypt, we read about God appearing to the people as a pillar of light or a pillar of fire during the night to lead the way. Perhaps you've been in a dark room or hallway. How did that make you feel? Did you look for a light to turn on? Did you use a flashlight? And what happens when we turn on a light when it's dark? Psalm 119 says that God's word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. The light shows us the way. It makes us able to see. And where there is light, there can be no darkness. The light chases away the darkness. This week, if you're in a dark room, notice what happens when you turn on a light or use a flashlight and see how the light chases away the darkness. In John 8, 12, Jesus says, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. But what does it mean to be the light? In November, four years ago, we were able to see a really special moon called a supermoon. The moon looked bigger and brighter than it ever had for 68 years. I have some tools here to show you. The moon's orbit around Earth is more like an oval than a circle. So sometimes it gets closer to the Earth and sometimes it's further away. And when it gets closer to the Earth, and it's a full moon, it also shines brighter, and it's called a supermoon. Jesus said, he is the light of the world. Light shows us the way in the dark, and just like a supermoon lights up the sky, Jesus lights up the world. The world can feel like a dark and scary place when we aren't sure what is right and what's wrong, but Jesus is the light of the world, and he shows us that God and his love are true. The people who follow Jesus have light to shine too. Jesus said the good things that other people see us do will cause them to praise God. Our light shines the light of Jesus all around. Did you know that the moon has no light of its own? It actually reflects the light of the sun and shines that light all around. When we love and honor God, and care for the good of others around us and are committed to helping make sure that people are treated fairly, we help reflect and shine God's light all around. How will you shine God's light today? John 1, 1 to 5 says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all humankind. The light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not overcome it. Before we go today, I'm going to share a song with you, or teach a song to you. You may have heard this song before, or your grown-ups might know it. Um, so I'll sing it first, and then we'll sing it together. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Now it's your turn. So feel free to stand up, dance, have a little light, have some big lights, whenever you like. Ready? Here we go. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Awesome. May God show and help us all to be a shining light today and every day. That's all for me this week, kids. I'll see you next time.